The resultant injuries are not great force. What type and extent of injuries would you expect to see if the defendant's head had been repeatedly slammed into a concrete surface? So if, it, so if somebody's head is repeatedly slammed against concrete with great force, I would expect lacerations. Um, I would expect a lot of um, um, injury that would bleed profusely, that would necessitate suturing. And so I don't see that in this um, picture. All right, let me turn your attention to States 47, where you also provided that photograph. Yes. And what injuries uh, did you observe in, in this photograph, States 47, if you would just describe those for the jury? Okay, so there is a small abrasion on the bridge of the nose right there. It's a very small um, little update at the tip of the nose. Can you circle that with your laser, if you would, or just indicate it? Right there. Okay. And right there. And are any injuries in this photograph life-threatening? No. Why not? Um, he has no loss of consciousness whatsoever. It, you know, he didn't have to go to the hospital. He went to a, um, a clinic. Were there any contusions or abrasions that you noted in this photograph? Yes. All right, can you, sh again, show, just show us where those are? Yes. Right there and right there. How would you characterize or classify the contusions, the severity of the contusions or abrasions to his face? Very small. Could all of the injuries that you observe in that photograph have come from a single punch or a single blow? Yes. And why do you say that? Okay, so if you look at the distribution of where the injury um, is, um, and let's think that I'm the one inflicting the blow, if I was to punch myself right above here, I would get the injury on the nose and on the few contusions on the forehead. So one blow would um, be able to inflict these injuries. Are the injuries that you observed to the defendant's face consistent with the defendant having been beaten a dozen times or more in the face? Uh, you know, if he was beaten repeatedly but with no um, resulting trauma on the face, then yes, but if the force is such that you get trauma, then only one time.